Today, I will show you how I use the film emulation LUTs within DaVinci Resolve. Alright, back in DaVinci, this is the clip we're going to use today. And let's go over to the color tab. I usually have three nodes before the uh, color space transform. So we're going to go ahead and label these three with white balance. The second one I usually name primes because I work with the primaries in there. And the third one is set for saturation. And then we are going to go to the CSD, color space transform, boom. And if you have seen the other videos, you know that I use the Sony S Gamma 3 and the S Log 3. Okay, converted image. Perfect. The next step, which is the preparing step for the actual film emulation, is the output gamma. And this we are going to change to Cineon Film Log. So we have a flat image again. Changing the output gamma to Cineon Film Log, I learned from a guy called Quasi. Check out his YouTube channel, it's very good. I've learned a ton from him. And we go ahead and close this down. Then we make the fifth node here and we label it Film Emulation. And then we go into LUTs, Film Look. And here we have a bunch of different film emulations already built into uh, DaVinci. If we hover the mouse over them, we can see how they will look on screen. And the six above, they are all labeled DCI-P3, and I guess it has something to do with HDR grading. So we will leave those. I will just pick the uh, Kodak 2383D55 and apply to current node. And there we go. And now the fun starts. Now when we have choose the film emulation lots, uh, we can go ahead and manipulate the footage, manipulate. We can go in and massage the image to our likings. I think this way of working with the uh, film emulation lots through the uh, CST is a great way of doing it. I think the image looks beautiful. And if we go in and turn off the saturation node I did, it's, oh, I mean, this, this looks even better. Just a quick video of me showing you what I do when I use the film emulations on my footage. Bye. 